Somebody's having fun right now. Sorry, son, we're hit. <laughs> he shot the rudder off. The dad. Great. Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. Today I'm excited to announce that a new model is out for our mini line of Skynetic models. This is the Skynetic de Havilland Tiger Moth. Uh, a nice little model that's gonna be an easy park flyer. And today we're gonna be getting this out of the box. I have the ready to fly in front of me, but we also have this available in FTR or Futaba Ready Receiver. Uh, so you can bind it right to your Futaba models. Uh, if you're interested in finding more about that, we have done some setup videos in the past on some of our other models. Uh, you could definitely add your Futaba receiver to this if you do get the ready to fly and still change it over to where it'll work with your Futaba. But for today's video, we're going to be doing the ready to fly, which comes with a controller. So let's slide the box open and check this out. All right, so let's get into it. So the nice thing on these Skynetic park flyers is they come completely built in the box and you can store them in the box for transport and safekeeping on your table. Uh, so let's go on and get that little guy out of the box. First thing you see coming out is our transmitter. Uh, these are just the little park ready ones. You've got your throttle, your rudder, ailerons, and elevator. Then you have your uh, beginner and expert mode, and then your uh, which is high rate and low rate. And then on this side, you have your gyro mode switch. So you have uh, your first setting, which is self leveling. Your second setting, which is called 3D mode, which is basically uh, just a stabilization, but you have full control of the model. And then the third one is gyro off, and you are just fully a uh, plain Jane normal model airplane with ailerons and everything. I will say these definitely benefit from having the gyro on unless it's zero wind where you're flying. Then you can turn it off. Uh, we'll go on and grab this piece out too. This is part of your flight stand. And as you can see, it's just a nice little display stand and your controller also clips into it. We have the Tiger Moth itself. And as you can see, it's got the same design as some of our other models where this is the clip on clip off propeller design. So if you hit hard, that just comes right off. Actually, we can reach in there and grab that prop and it literally just pushes on just like that. And that way, when you hit the ground, if you hit hard, this just pops off instead of damaging it. Next piece to come out of the box is our landing gear. Now you'll notice that the landing gear has a rake to them. We want it to where the rake is towards the front of the aircraft when we push them in. We can go on and turn that over and slide those in right there. Just like that. And then we can set our model on the table. Next thing coming out of the box is going to be our ready to fly uh, charger. Uh, it's the same one that's used in a bunch of our other kits. Same battery between all the airplanes also. So if you get multiple different models, you're going to have multiple different batteries to use. We do have the batteries available here on Motion RC if you want to be able to fly more than one flight. Got some more stand components. These are the uh, transmitter holders. We'll get that out in a minute and actually check it out. Um, we have our tail wheel and some replacement horns and push rods, screws, just in case you have any kind of accident and need to make some repairs, you do get those extra components and the hardware to replace stuff. And then if I remember right, yep, on the bottom of the box is the other piece of the stand. We'll get that out now. There we go. We can just set our box aside out of the way now. Now our next piece we're gonna to put together is our stand. Uh, they're very simple. You just take this, clip it in towards the front so the weight of the airplane's on it. Push down until it snaps. Then we're gonna put our two transmitter stick holders in here. You gotta remember which way they go, towards the front. You just take those, line them up. Once again, just snap them in like so. like that 
And then the cool thing is your transmitter keys in just like that for storage. And then our little model, right where the gear go in, this just clicks in right between them. And there it is. And this is adjustable, so you can have it flying in different angles if you'd like. But there you go. For that, oh, we need our tailwheel. Sorry about that. That's the last little piece for the assembly now. It's our little tailwheel. We'll pop him back off the stand for just a moment. And the tailwheel goes right there, just like so. Then we can clip her back in like that. Hard assembly on that one. <laughs> All right, so at this point, let's power our model on for the first time. Let's double check that all of our servos are working and that everything is working correct in the gyro before we head out to the field to fly this. Uh, to power your model on, let's flip it over. Open up our battery hatch. Find both ends of the wires. And I found this in the past on some of the other small ones. If you just have a little screwdriver to reach in there with, you can pull that other one up. A lot easier than trying to get in there with your fingers. Always turn your transmitter on first. Now we can plug our model in. Just like so. Tuck all our wires in. Flip it over, whoops. See if I can. <laughs> the struggle bus. Nope, that's just how they go. All right, let's see if it works. Aha! All right, now that we've got them flipped over, we can test everything. So if we go left aileron, we want to see the uh, left aileron go up. If we go to the right, we want to see the right aileron go up, which is correct. If we go up, we should see our elevator go up, and it does. And if we go down, we should see it go down. Last control surface check is our rudder. So if we go to the left, oops, it goes to the left. If we go to the right, it goes to the right. Just like that. Now, the motor will not work on this until you've armed it. The way you arm it is all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Now it will be armed just like that. And that will also turn the gyro on. The gyro is not on on this until you've powered up the motor for the first time. Now that it's on, we can kind of double check everything. So if we tilt it over to the side, we should see it correcting back to neutral. If we dive it, we should see the elevator go up, trying to bring it back to neutral, and then the rudder as we tilt it. Everything's working, so we are ready to take this out and fly it. Uh, the other cool thing is make sure you're in self-leveling mode if you're going to hand toss this. And like I said, all you got to do is just kind of lean it left and right and you'll know it's in self-leveling mode. If you push the button here on the top, you can go down twice and now the gyro's off for when you're walking around. You don't have to hear it making all that noise. Yeah, before you take off, put it into beginner mode and you're good to go. All right, pilots, here we are at the field. We are going to fly our little Skynetic Tiger Moth. Uh, I've got it in self-leveling mode just like that you can see everything's working and we're going to give it about half throttle and hand launch it right into the wind so here we go be ready to get on that elevator there it is now it's in self-leveling mode as you can see give it a little rudder and that's hands completely off very stable if you need to get a little more turn, a little more aggressive, just add a little rudder to your aileron, just like this. Throw the rudder in. That wind's really catching me, but that's okay. We're right on the edge of what you want to be flying it in. It's probably 10, 5 mile an hour, somewhere right in there. First thing in the morning, real late in the evening, is going to be perfect, though. Let's see if I can bring it right here in front of us. Look at this guy. 
Look at that little guy. Meow. The cool thing with these is you get an airplane that is really nice to fly. I mean, even with the ready to fly transmitter, as you see it, it really flies nice. Now, with as windy as it is, I will take it up and do a roll, but I'm going to get up a little more altitude for the roll, just in case I need to go back into stabilization. So, I am into regular mode. Here we go. Roll. And roll the other way. And if you get in trouble, just tap it, and it's going to come back into stabilization, just like that. Bring her around. Do some hovering in. Yeah, on a nice morning, you are going to love this airplane. And there's real low wind. Looks beautiful out here in the sky right now. It's like the fire. The yellow pops. Yeah. Just kind of chucking it around. Yeah. Oh, look at that sunset. Sunset. Oh. That's beautiful over there. I'm sure it's a silhouette, but man, how pretty is that right now? Got the pterodactyls coming in. <laughs> and that beep you're hearing is so you can time your flights. You know, I normally try and fly these right around eight minutes and you just count those beeps. When you get to eight, it's time to land. I'm going to take it back into gyro off. Here we go. Huh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we're getting sporty now. It will do any acro you want, guys. And all I have to do is push that gyro on button again twice. Does it fly inverted? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it wasn't so windy right now, it'd be way easier. Blame the wind. Inverted. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. You I'm got so, it. I mean, this is the ready to fly controller too, guys. I mean, it really is nice. Ooh, wind gust. Okay, so I'm going to hit the button <laughs> There we go. And I'm back into stabilization. I can let go of the controller and it's just flying like that by itself. I mean, it's this simple in stabilization mode, if you can see that. Yeah, they got it. I mean, it's it's that simple. I love the way these fly. Definitely good bang for the buck. Oh man, incredible. I'm not gonna lie, it's cheesy, but I like the display stand and the fact that I you can too. just, you know, put them on your tabletop. That wind stopped for a second. I was able to just keep it right here in front of us. It's funny, when it's right there in front of it, you can really see the gyro working too, all the control surfaces moving. Right there on the edge of the stall. I mean, the stall is so slow. You can get away with so much. All right, I'll bring it in now. <laughs> I could stay out here and play with this all night. It's hilarious how much fun these are. So I'm just gonna try and come plop it in front of us. You know, the, there's no way it's gonna land on the wheels and stay there but it's designed to take a little bit of a hit. So I'm just gonna let it come in, zero power, and flip over like that. Doesn't hurt it a bit. <laughs> Perfect. I love this thing, guys. It's so much fun. All right, pilots, that was a great flight of the little tiger moth from here at Skynetic. Excited to see it fill out the line of our little ready-to-fly and Futaba-ready uh, models. As always, if you want one of these, links will be down in the description of this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you always see the newest models when they hit Motion RC here first. And as always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has everything you want. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.